I'm Don Reese, the uh, Director of Information Technology for the Pemina Trail School Division. My job is to plan, budget and implement uh, technology to support the education of students. Pemina Trail School Division had a number of challenges related to storage and email. Uh, we wanted students to have a safe and secure location to share email. Uh, Merlin uh, brought the opportunity to us as a proof of concept to test it out. Merlin is a um, special operating agency of the provincial government of Manitoba. So our mandate is to assist schools and school divisions with uh, implementing technology. Merlin was looking for a solution that had uh, no advertising in it, that there was security, that the school divisions could control the user accounts, they could turn them off and turn them on, and control some of the content that the kids were sharing between each other. We have high confidence in Microsoft software, so we know it's going to work and it's going to work every time. By offering a, a robust, secure environment for students, and we really like the, uh, uh, the fact that it, it's available anywhere, in, uh, in libraries, at home, or in schools. My name is Elaine Egan, and I'm the principal of Acadia Junior High in Winnipeg, Manitoba. The students are, are connected. I mean, their, their way of communicating is electronically now. And so we've been able to use Live at EDU to allow students to communicate with their teachers for learning reasons in the way that they communicate anyway. The student-teacher relationship is, is the most important part of a classroom setting. And it's always been in place, but now it's in place differently. It's in place electronically and in a way that the kids are very savvy. I use it to email my teachers when I have questions. Um, to send myself documents at home that I didn't get finished here at school. I use it in every class to transfer my files. It really helps a lot. If I didn't bring my memory stick to school, I'd have to print it out and then just retype up everything that I had done before, but even then I could make errors from what I already had. So Live at EDU really allowed me to have a much easier way of getting homework done and a much more efficient way of doing so. Live at EDU opens up the doors of collaboration between teacher and student and allows for more two-way communication but that is in a more secure and private manner that where a student can come to a teacher with questions that they may have that they might not be comfortable asking in class. Over the weekend they can fire me a question and I'll be able to answer for them and so instead of them sitting there stalled on something that they were wondering about they can go ahead and continue with what they were working on. With Live at EDU the efficiency has been tremendously increased because students have a knack for the technology. We've delayed the implementation of an additional storage area network by over a year because of the amount of storage space students can use on the uh, sky drives. 25 gigabytes of memory I have in my sky drive pretty much gives me unlimited access to upload as many documents as I need to transfer from school to home or home to school. So this really allows us to keep our stuff on there and we never have to delete anything off of it. It's understanding a, an email system that's um, uh, probably not too dissimilar from what they're going to see in the workplace in the future. I've got kids conducting their communication with teachers in ways that I think is more professional and appropriate when they're using the context of live at EDU. The ability to move towards the students' culture, their digital culture, their email culture, their uh, sharing files and, and sharing information digitally, and our ability to do that in a safe environment without advertising. Uh, Live at EDU uh, absolutely fills the bill. In Pemina Trail School Division, Live at EDU is the complete solution, supporting 34 buildings and 14,000 students. <laughs>